Hello, everyone. This is Dr. Victoria Skirbo speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Um, today is Easter Sunday here in um, in America, or well, it, on this side of the world, <laughs> unless it's a different day, right? <laughs> and um, this is a day of resurrection, right? We are in the energy of Aries. It's about taking that first breath. After a long period of being where you could barely take a breath. And breathing was, could be deadly if you breathe in the wrong person's air. But the energy of Aries asks us to take that first breath, to move forward, to follow our instincts, and to follow our heart. The sign of Aries is um, exalted. The sun is exalted in Aries. So that exaltation of the very spark of light is is the energy of the now moment so i thought it would be a good time on easter to do a reading for april um I did the Kabbalah and numerology. I did the astrology, and uh, I was uh, going to do the the reading also, but I ran out of time because the astrology, of course, is always you know longer. Um, but I think it's apropos that this is three things, right? Three three things. We'll look at the numbers first. <laughs> we'll look at the directions. We'll look at the energies that are available to us. And now we will look at what the cards have to say. I'm using the Illuminati deck. That's apt, right? Illumination, Illuminati. And I'm also going to pick a Illuminated Earth Oracle card. So, And um, I, uh, I have a couple of uh, those themes going on here. This is from a um, a watcher. She sent me these and a client. Thank you so much. Um, they were made by a, uh, a Mexican shaman, and uh, she had picked them up when she was in Mexico. And um, she sent them to me, and uh, I feel honored to wear them. Thank you. They have a lot of power, too. Whew. I put them on my ears, and then I felt like Dumbo. I mean, seriously. It went from, like, my regular ears to these enormous ears. Like, I feel like the energy, <laughs> the energy is, like, so intense. It's great, though. It's great. It's beautiful energy. It's like feeling, uh, it's like feeling the, the will of spirit like come down and, and not resisting it. It's like a total like let go into the possibilities of what spirit has to bring forth. This is a story, but uh, this is just a reading. There's a story behind all of this. And hopefully um, I'll have enough vision to write it. Um, and to tell the story of it <laughs> because everybody's story matters. Everybody's story matters. And so it's time to tell our stories. It's time to tell our stories. Regular people doing regular things, living regular lives, become the extraordinary. Okay. 
So this is for April 2021, which is a nine vibration, the eight of all up, which is the vibration of wisdom. So let the wisdom will flow <laughs> in April. And the first card up is the chariot. Hopefully you can see these. I know the lighting isn't the best, but I'm so I'm so sorry about the lighting. The chariot. The chariot is the card um, where where spirit comes into personality. The chariot is our personality. It's our ego. It's, it's it's the spacesuit that we have to wear in order to be live on planet Earth. We all have to wear that. Um, and we have to, that spacesuit happens to be our physical body. And so we have to have a, a better relationship with our spacesuit if we want to continue on our path and our journey. And that includes, you know, us, our personal choices around health and well-being. And uh, our choices around the planet's health and well-being. She, we are only as healthy as she is. And we don't have to go to Mars. We have a paradise here. We need to take care of our mother. This card is associated with cancer. The sign of cancer. The energy of the mother all of us come through our mothers. It's the only way. Sometimes it's natural childbirth and sometimes it's not, but that's the only way in. The feminine is the only way in. And you desecrate her. I can't continue. You must stand up for your mother. You must love her. You must hold her until your arms are so tired of holding, yet you hold, you continue to hold. Let's see what's challenging that. <laughs> Our wisdom? Our wisdom? That's interesting. I feel like the challenge is how to get our wisdom out there. How do you put it out there? Because wisdom in its nature is very introspective. And so um, how do you put the energy out there? How do you go from that place and... Um, I guess, I guess you allow spirit to be in charge. You just accept the fact that, that the person that you know as yourself here in this physical form is a, um, is, is, is a vessel for spirit, really. And the vessel and the spirit have been separate for so long. The fire, the masculine, the water, the feminine, the birth of light that comes from that. We are the light bringers, people. We are the light bringers. Shine your light. Shine as bright as you can and trust that God has your back. Let's see what's at the root. God has your back, King of Cups. You know, it's so funny. Um,
I personally wasn't, Joe Biden wasn't my, my first choice for president. So, and I didn't think he had a chance, but he did. And it was surprising how much support he had. And it's interesting that it was the black community in the deep South that catapulted him forward. And now he's leading the charge. But he's a leader who is open up, open up, open up to suggestions by people who know about their specialties, their areas, right? So he lets all that information in. And he's a conduit, really, for the energy of healing to move through and, and start the, the, the process of healing. And it's through his deep pain an experience um, that he's able to do that. Three's a charm, I guess, when it comes to running for president. But he's at the root here. And I think we need to see him for what he is. In a way, he's kind of like a, a, a Jesus figure. <laughs> I would have never thought I'd say that. But he has shown, he has, re, he has resurrected. He is a Scorpio. He is the King of Cups. His ability to go to maybe the lowest point in his life, to the, to finally the pinnacle of his ambition and have it almost not count for him. It doesn't count for him. He is the release of ego, Scorpio. We had the pinnacle of ego in Trump. In fact, his soul, Trump's soul is the tower card in the, in the, on the tree of life. And in the tarot. He. He was the ego. He was the lower self. Fighting against. The higher self. Fighting against. The ego wants to be the king of his world, but that's only in his mind. And when you ask him to get beyond that and go reach into his heart and his feelings, it's a total death of the ego. And so in this sort of archetypical way, they're playing this giant like drama and everyone has his part. Joe Biden would have never gotten where he was if it wasn't for Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders may have not gotten where he was or, or Liz Warren. You know, everybody plays their part. They're out of the spotlight, but they're all working. You're out of the spotlight, but you're working. What are you working towards? Feel that. Feel the possibility of that. It's just amazing. Birth of the light within you. This has been a circuitous journey, hasn't it? This reading and this life. <laughs> this is the past. The fool. Wow. The fool. You know, Trump is a fool. He's a fool. He's, he fools so many people. So in his own way, you know, he's his own kind of Prometheus. He awakened us to who we really are. He's done us a service. 
Now we need to make the most of it. It was a lot of pain. That's not for naught. There's a lot of corks being popped. George Floyd's um, trial is like, in, in its own way, a release of all this grief, all this sorrow, sort of channeled through that Scorpio energy, right? Let's see what's in the sky. Boy, April looks like it's going to be very interesting. Oh, my God. The Ace of Wands. What's in the sky? The potential for healing in the Kabbalah. This is the 27-9 vibration. It is the vibration of my path and the soul of my husband and the soul of Barack Obama and the soul of Kamala Harris. You know, we know them. They don't know us. But we're all in the same energy and going through the same stuff. Shine your light. It helps everything. It helps everything. Shine your light. So the next, so, so there's a lot of work to still be done. This doesn't mean that things are going to immediately work in your favor, but it will if you apply yourself. So this is inspiration and purpose and expression of your heart and your compassion. And yet it still tends, you still need to tend the ground. You still need to do the work on the physical. You need to tend to your physical body. You need to tend to the earth around you. You need to tend to your environment. You know, your, the, your room, your every, where, where is the clutter? Where is the clutter? It all needs to go, but it needs to be a process. It needs to be a process. And that's where the hard work comes in. How it seemed from the outside. Now I'm going to read this as the outside of this situation being off earth beings. <laughs> and this is the soul vibration of um, Joe Biden. And I think it's really interesting that he has a dog it's a shelter dog. And so there's this, this compassion to save it, right? Um, but it's a shepherd, so it's protective. So you can't completely control it. And he's a beautiful boy. And he's our first dog. Well, our second dog, I guess. The older gentleman is our first dog. But it's okay that we have a little bite, don't you think? <laughs> it's okay that Joe has that bite of the working man because I think he really believes that. He does. He believes it with all his heart and soul. And so he can access that energy and express his soul. Domestic situation, the Hierophant. Wow, this is change. It's a five. It's change through the five. But this is listening to your inner voice. This is the path. Um, which one is it? The path of the triumphant intelligence, I think. Listen to spirit. Open your ears. Hence, I have these feather earrings that have made my ears the size of Dumbo ears. There are no coincidences, folks. None. Hopes and fears, the Prince of Cups. We hope for love. We hope for the fairy tales to be true. That we live happily ever after. 
we can be happy. But happiness and sadness are hand in hand. The sadness, the release of sadness brings happiness. Look at the, um, behind him is a uh, waterfall. The release of happiness the release of sorrow. The outcome. It's going to be hard mentally. It's going to be a lot of anxiety producing things. But it's all in your head. It's not real. What are you listening to? Are you listening to how things are terrible? Are you listening to how, how things are great? How it's working out? How all this creative energy is? is it, we're being reborn people. There's so much creative energy out there. The old systems are getting blown to bits because it can't hold the creative energy that's out there. It's not getting blown to bits because somebody wants to harm the structure. We've outgrown it. Let's grow, outgrow it more. <laughs> Let's create a new earth, people. It starts at home. In the space that you sit in. In the space of your heart. In the space of your mind. What are you focusing on? We have the Queen of Cups. This is a feminine energy offering tea and sympathy. Talk to each other. Give each other moments. We're all very busy in whatever it is we're doing. Whether you know you could be gaming, you could be in an alternative reality. Or you could be you know, doing what you do. Take time for yourself. Have a cup of tea. Every night my father used to, uh, when, when, when my mother and father were much older and right before uh, they moved back into their home for reasons they were at my, my aunt's house, And I don't know why I was talking. Oh, and so he was living with my mother in his in her sister's house, which was the family home where my mother grew up. And upstairs was um, my aunt and my uncle, who were my mother's uh, brother, who always lived upstairs from um, my grandparents ancestral home, so to speak. And my father would always say, hey, let's have some, let's go up and have some tea. And he would go upstairs with my, my, uh, my aunt and my uncle, my mother's brother and his wife. And they would have tea every night. It was such a lovely thing. And my aunt, who was a cancer, um, and and she was married to a Leo, right? And uh, my my mother is a Leo. The brother and sister are both Leos. My mother was a Leo. And um, and my father was Virgo. So when you're a Cancer Virgo, kind of that Cancer Virgo, whether you're a Cancer or a Virgo, having to deal with that Leo energy, um, is it, it, it's a lot of it, it's a lot of upkeep. That Leo energy takes a lot of upkeep. And I think that my my aunt and my my uh, my father, my father being a Virgo, my aunt being a Cancer, it was like a little like way for them to. 
um, I don't know, like hold the space of, um, you know, let's, let's just, let's just not focus on ourselves. Let's focus on, uh, you know, somebody, uh, somebody else <laughs> and have a cup of tea with them. I think that'd be great. You know, Denise and I do those high teas. I don't know if you've ever watched those. Um, it's time to do another one, Denise. So if you're listening or watching this, we'll, we'll do another one. Um, so tea. So we need tea. We need tea and a little sympathy. That'll help. That'll help with anxiety. And then we have the nine of wands. So this is the wisdom. You know, the nine of wands is the battle-weary soldier, but it's not in the tree of life. This is Sag. This is the 35-8 vibration. If this is your shadow, there's a, there's a fear maybe about letting your wisdom out. okay you can let your wisdom out the eight of wands whoa these are these cards man i shuffle these a lot this is all kinds of information coming out and not just the information of you know what this one did and that one did and not just that will also come out. But if you focus on it too much, it's going to take your energy away from what you need to be focused on. So it's important to know the facts, to hear it, but not obsess, not constantly watch it. You see what I'm saying? In whatever way you can know. You know, some people listen to the news like in the, on their car radio or they, you know, maybe there's a, a program that they like to listen to, you know, Rachel Maddow or something like that. So want to know what's going on. Um, but I think it's important we know what's going on here in our own hearts. This is the birth of light, the birth of love. Everything has lined up for this moment. Everything. In perfect harmony. Underneath it all, we have the Queen of Wands. This is the Leo. This is the queen of her domain. It's funny, um, this card, this card reminds me of my sister Patty. And uh, I don't know, this, this, the lighting is just not really good for this. Oh, there she is. Isn't she beautiful? My sister Patty was a beautiful, beautiful woman. Powerful, powerful, embodied that divine feminine. When Trump became president, she went to the pastor of her church and said, I, I have to do something. What can I do? I have to fix I have to fix this in her way. She was a Virgo. <laughs> Virgo, big time Virgo. Sun, Pluto, Mercury, all together in Virgo in the tenth house or eleventh house. Tenth or eleventh house. Powerful voice. Powerful voice. 
Um, but this card reminds me of her and actually reminds me of the woman that, that gave me these earrings. Um, forces of just really, really smart. Really smart and really loving. A beautiful soul she was. And I feel like um, I didn't know my sister Patty. I met her in 2010, I think it was, uh, after I met my mother for the first time. And the minute she walked in the room, I felt such a warmth in my heart and such a feeling of warmth, remembrance, family. I don't know what it was. But it was deep in my soul, and I know she felt it too. Shortly after she went to see her, the pastor, she was diagnosed with cancer. And she, she, She knew that she was dying, but she stayed around for the people she loved. And it was a very painful experience. And I feel like, thank you, I feel like that I'm working with her now from the, from the other side that um, we're teaming up. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm over the moon. <laughs> I am. To get to know my sister. Oh my God. Oh, and this was the next card. Resurrection. Oh no. Oh no, this is the lovers. Oh, isn't that weird? This looked like a resurrection card. These cards are pretty wild. I know I've had these for like a couple of years. They're amazing. Wow. This is amazing. I'm sorry. I I, I just like fell into this card. Love. <laughs> Choices, the lovers, maybe Patty was my soulmate, <laughs> wouldn't that be cool, wouldn't that be cool, well, that's the reading, I knew it was going to go in all kinds of places, oh, I was going to pick I'm just going to pick uh, an oracle. Let me do that too. I think there's something that needs to be said from the spirit of the wheel. Just give me a second here. And pull this out. Okay, sorry guys. Just give me a second. What does the spirit of the wheel have to say? What does the spirit of the wheel have to say? <laughs> I'll have to get more songs if I'm going to entertain you. <laughs> Let me entertain you. Let me make you smile. You know, it's funny. I do these videos every day. And uh, sometimes I just break out into song because I can't help myself. 
<laughs> it must be my Leo rising. <laughs> it's like show tune stuff, but not all of it. No, not, I mean, I mean, that whole idea is like a show tune stuff, but they're not all show tunes. But, um, yeah. Shine your light. When you look into your eyes, who do you see? What do you see? Do you see love? Do you see fear? Do you see anger? Love it all. Love it all. That's what we're here to learn. That's what holds us together, is love. When we think we can do it all by ourselves, oh my God. No, it's time to ask for help. 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 I need somebody help. Not just anybody help. I need somebody help. <laughs> when I was younger, so much younger than before, I didn't need anybody's help anymore. But now these days are gone and I'm not so self-assured. I don't know the words to that song. I think I'm going to recite that song. I, I mean, I won't sing it. I, I don't know. Can you sing a song like that and not get in trouble? I don't know. I mean, you can't play the song in the video. I guess you could sing in the song. Isn't that what songs are for? To be sung? When I was younger, so much younger than today, I didn't need anybody's help in any way. And now I'm something I'm not so self-assured. I'm going to change my mind and open up a door. Help me when I think I'm going down. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? You know what's funny about that, that I'm singing the Beatles? Because I'm not, a, I've never, always never really a big Beatles fan. But a couple, a couple of years before my sister passed, she actually met Ringo Starr. And she was so godsmacked that if her husband hadn't taken a picture or had had a picture taken, she would not, she, she didn't remember it. So she had this like almost miraculous um, awakening in its, in its way because she worked in that business. And I think she really admired Ringo Starr. And Ringo Starr was kind of a, like, love. He, like, he really believed that. So let's see. Father, Son. Direction, illumination, and active growth. The Son is exalted in Aries. Enough said. Where's the little book? I will read it though. This is such a beautiful little book that I, I, I wouldn't just say that. I have to read it. This is, um, I use these a lot for my personal stuff. Um, and you know, sometimes I'll, I'll take a, a, a deck like this maybe and work with it, but not necessarily go right by, go by the book. But this deck is really, really a beautiful, spectacular deck. So I go by the book <laughs> because the book knows. But it's really, really tiny. It says the, uh, the Father-Son card represents a period of active growth. The energy around you at this time is bountiful. If you use it wisely, directing it towards future goals, your progress will be great. Set boundaries, be assertive, and direct the changes you are working towards. The sun card illuminates the shadow side of the self and the path of coming into your own power. Sometimes these realizations can be painful and require some sacrifice. 
clear the way for progress to occur, even though the path to enlightenment can be a real challenge at times. While the sun's energy, with the sun's energy, you can conquer your fears through the process of self-illumination. Now is the perfect time to do so. The sun is just a reminder that each of us has opportunities every day to make a difference in the world. Shine your light on others and help them to see more clearly. And this is your prayer. Help me, Great Spirit, to reorganize my own inner light so that I may project positive loving energy out into the world and towards achieving my goals with clear direction. Shine your light, folks. Shine your light. Just do it. There's no need to suffer it. Am I good enough? Can I really do it? What's it going to mean? Does it mean I have to change? Does it mean that my life is going to change? Am I going to open up to something I don't know? about yet probably <laughs> but it's okay it's okay we're all waking up to something different let it happen make the most of the king of cups he's chosen to be a conduit let the love flow Wow. So that's what I'm seeing and feeling and hearing and speaking. What are you? <laughs> Does it feel good? Does it make your heart go yes? Does it open your heart? If it opens your heart, then it's good. Do what you love, love what you do. It's all work. <laughs> if you're doing what you don't like to do, it's work. If you're doing what you love to do, it's still work, but you're having fun. <laughs> right? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Mm -mm. Joy is our lifeblood. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. 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 Right? My husband had a, a, this is such a weird story, but I'll tell you because he told me, and I know this to be true. He had a, 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 a tortoise shell, like a, it's a skeleton of, a, tor of a, a, a turtle shell, I think. And in it, he would keep bottle caps. He, he would keep my beer bottle caps. I like beer. I like Sam Adams. I like, um, uh, Guinness. I like Guinness, right? And a couple of others. But mostly that's what I imbibe. I don't drink a lot, but I do like beers. And, and sometimes Michael will cook with beer. So there's always like, I usually have some semblance of a six pack in the, in the refrigerator. Six or one or two, or but you know. And um, oh my God, what was the point of this? Oh, so he keeps these, he, he, oh, for some reason, keeps all the bottle caps. And uh, it, they were in there. And I think he was just going to recycle the bottle, bottle caps. And his guide said, look inside. There's uh, there's something else in there. It's not just bottle caps. So he, he, I guess, dumped it out and went through it. And there was a little light. <laughs> there's a little light in there. And there was the light to a, a, a nightlight. 
And he said, I put it in the nightlight and I plugged it in and it works. And then I said, well, that's great. I, that's great. We were just talking about the light. We were just talking about a realization that I had about myself that for many years, I have felt very responsible for a lot. And it has strengthened me and made me more uh, grounded. And it came to me that that experience was actually making the container, my spirit, uh, able to with, withhold the, the light that's coming through now. And uh, the story of the Seeds of Transformation is a... Uh, a very interesting one that we have lived, Michael and I. And I want to tell the story. And hopefully Michael wants to tell the story. And then the story will be known. Our story. And the story maybe you guys need to hear. All right. Well, that was <laughs> my reading. <laughs> For April, um, much love, everyone. We are really in new territory, and we are going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Just let it go and trust that your joy can carry you. Namaste. Much love from me and my sister Pat.